Well, I mean, this is a celebration of asparagus, and Hadley is the center of the universe when it comes to asparagus. So it's great to promote the local regional agriculture and to get everybody out in a nice spring day like this. I can tell you that Hadley asparagus, Hadley grass, is known throughout the country as some of the best on the planet. It's essentially the asparagus capital of the Northeast, at least. I'm here and I didn't know how it was gonna go but it's pretty busy and it's fun I like it yeah it's a lot of fun it's a lot of townspeople and I see a lot of people I know and it's a great day asparagus ice cream That's we awesome. both had some of the fiber is still in it tossed in some almonds sort of tasted almost like pistachio -y, asparagus -y, a little bit vegetable but definitely had the good dairy creamy flavor. Yeah. As soon as people started showing up, the sun came out and everyone's in a really good mood, you know? So it's a really great thing. And I think it's also really important for people to know where their food's coming from. Like, local food's really important and we're famous for our Hadley grass, so it's great to be out here. <laughs> we have some of the best farmland in the country out in this valley, in the Pioneer Valley. Um, all along the Connecticut River Valley, some of the best soils for growing and uh, agriculture is a really important part of our economy. A lot of people outside of this area don't realize how much we produce here um, for food, vegetables, things like that. We're essentially the breadbasket of New England. I think that it's uh, incredibly important for people to have the opportunity to see kind of the small local businesses and the small farms in the area and have the opportunity to meet the people who are running those businesses and have that opportunity to come out and support them and get behind small businesses and small farms. Well, we started out to be Western Mass's local beer 21 years ago, and organically it's slowly morphed that we're a New England regional brewery, so we are in all six New England states now, but we love our backyard. I mean, that's where we came from, and we're not going to forget where we came from. I'm here with CISA. Uh, we're an organization that helps coordinate between farmers that are growing food in the Pioneer Valley and people that are buying food in the Pioneer Valley, like consumers, retailers, restaurants. Uh, so we like to come to this stuff not only to kind of get our name out there and be talking with people about what they're looking for uh, in terms of local agriculture, but also um, to really kind of get a sense for like what's going on in communities and make sure that we stay like a community presence. The asparagus soup, the chilled asparagus soup Delicious. with pumpkin seeds and goat cheese in it. Dynamite. But yeah, everything's local here too, you know, so it's all about local economies and local breweries, so we, we're happy to be part of the, the community here, using the best water in America from East Hampton, and uh, lots of local ingredients in the beers, so, you know, it's, uh, it's all good. It's been a great day. By buying from a local farmer, you're not just supporting that farmer, but you're supporting the community that you live and work in, the place where your kids go to school and where you own your home. I think in terms of just social awareness, I see a lot of children around. Some of the gift prizes were geared towards the younger crowd. I think it's really important to get this mindset started early, you know, about community growth, local farming, and things like that. Well, I think the quality, I mean, you can see from this Paris right here, the quality is a lot better than you would get in most um, grocery stores. And also, I think the whole fact that um, you can eat something that's actually healthy for you and it tastes really good, you know, it's not junk food. It's an incredible perennial crop. I think a lot of people probably don't realize that. Most vegetables that we grow around here are annual plants that they have to put in every year. Asparagus is different. It's one thing that you put in the ground and it comes up every year and you harvest it and you have to leave some of the stalks for the future year in order to propagate and have another harvest next year. Um, so, you know, there's so many, it, it's incredible in Hadley. Every other house you go to has uh, asparagus in the in the driveway. Somebody's selling bunches for four bucks. It's just a great, great place. And um, a lot of people have said that it is the best tasting asparagus in the country. Hadley asparagus, Hadley grass is known throughout the country as some of the best on the planet. Um, so we really feel like that's a great selling point that uh, it's not just, you're not just buying really good asparagus, but you're buying kind of part of Hadley history. You're buying a real touchstone for the community and like a symbol of what it means to be from Hadley, to be in Hadley, to be eating in Hadley and to be working in Hadley. But this is a great little festival and we've been here every year.